Hello, my name is Brandy, AKA Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my little corner of the internet, Al Gore's internet. And if you're an OG, welcome back. Happy Friday, guys. This is the day before I'm leaving on my little vacation and I'm really excited about leaving. It has been a long time coming. All right, so let's hop into this cast video because again, we don't want to keep you long. We have a lot to do today. Um, these are two new sims for my upcoming LP uh, slash challenge uh, that was created by Keo Sims and myself called What is Love? And I decided that I wanted to add these two into my gameplay. Uh, their names are Cree and Cairo LaRue. Now, the idea behind my town or one of my neighborhoods is to kind of envelop the idea of well the vibe of uh creole louisiana so just to give you guys a teach as my grandmother would say of a of some background information about the creole people they're a mixture of spanish african and french descent and uh, there are large populations of Creole people in Louisiana, Texas, the Shy, LA, and San Francisco. And their religious beliefs go from Roman Catholicism to Protestant to Voodoo. Anyway, so I'd like to introduce you guys to Cree, uh, Cree LaRue. She is the youngest of the twins, the LaRue twins. Now, uh, the LaRue ten twins were raised by their grandmother, uh, Ruth Ann, who passed away and left, th uh, left them with her house. Um, so they have this huge responsibility to keep the family going. And Cree has kind of taken on the motherly uh, role in between the twins and it kind of gets on Cairo's nerves. Uh, she's a bit bossy. Um, but she means well. She really does. Um, Cree, although she is kind of the motherly sort, she does have a tendency to dream big. Um, she loves everything about nature. Now, I did not give that to her as a trait. However, I did give her a custom trait or custom aspiration of, I believe, um, herbalism or something like that apothecary um she loves to create her own shampoos and body lotions and infuse oils with different herbs and things that she finds um, in her ventures out she is a collector so you'll see that as her trait she loves to go out and gather um, what we would think to be weeds and things like that she also loves to go to the swap meet now where i'm from it's called the swap meet but you may know it as the flea market um, so she loves to go and find little knickknacks here and there and bring them in the house. She tends to get that from her grandmother. May Grandma Ruthann rest in peace. Um, so she has a big dream of opening her own business, selling her uh, body lotions and things like that. And she feels like her body lotions and nut butters have a holistic, um, medicinal effect on uh, her customers but her main goal is to let people uh, pamper themselves and feel pretty because they're using something that's natural and it's good for their skin and their hair and things like that so that is a little bit into Korea's her her um I guess her goal now um, she's also a bit of a charmer she has that southern belle charm and I gave her I, I guess a personality a personality like my mother she's a type of person that will cut you with her words but you don't really know that's what's going on because she says in such a sweet way uh, like bless your heart <laughs> Um, so she's definitely a Southern belle and she believes, firmly believes in the motto of a way to a man's heart is through his stomach and she loves to cook. So I gave her a 
pretty high um, cooking skill and just the home style cooking because she loves to cook. Her favorite uh, meals are gumbo, etouffee, dirty rice. How many of you guys have ever had dirty rice? Me, love it. One of my favorite dishes, jambalaya, gumbo. Grew up eating it, love it. Yeah, so I base these two lovely people off of people in my own family. They are an amalgamation of so many different cultures, ethnicities, and that's what I enjoy about my family. But you're not here to hear about my family. You're here for the LaRue family. So a little bit more about Cree. She um, doesn't really date and that's, there's no problem with that. She has um, no intention to really, not at this moment. She has a main focus, which is to uh, craft and, you know, one day owning her own business and, you know, buying an actual brick and mortar business so she can, you know, take care of herself and her brother and, um, you know, best laid plans should that happen along the way, you know, that's great. If not, so be it. Um, that's her attitude. And I don't really think she even thinks about it. Uh, she's so focused and she's always been that type of person, just really, really focused. All right. So now I'd like to slip into the life of Cairo. LaRue. He is the oldest of the twins. Um, he is definitely a charmer, but he's one of those guys that has no idea that he is good looking or even charming for that matter. It just is what it is. You know, it's very natural and women faint in his wake. And he has no idea, really. He has no idea. Okay, so a little bit about his aspiration. I gave him the wealthy aspiration because he is a family oriented sim, sim Freudian slip um, and he his main goal is to take care of his family so he knows that in order for him to be able to take care of his sister and help her with her dreams he needs to make enough money to help her buy her business um, and maybe keep supplying her with some of the things that she needs that's his main goal. He wants to take care of her. So any person that comes into uh, Cairo's life has to understand that his sister is his first priority. Not to say that he would neglect anyone he was dating, not at all. Um, he would make sure that person was well taken care of and catered to, but he knows that his sister would be lost without him. <laughs> not really, but that's his thought. Also, um, Cairo is very hard on himself because he knows that he is the man of the house. Um, his sister depends on him. So if he makes a mistake, he's going to be extremely hard on himself. After all, he is a perfectionist and I made sure to give him that trait because um, I think that was important to uh, emphasize that. Now, Cairo has a hidden talent. He has an amazing singing voice, and this is something that he only utilizes in the shower or when he's at home, when he thinks no one can hear him. But his sister knows very well that he can sing, and she wants him to use his talent. However, Cairo knows that, you know, singing, first of all, is a risk, and he doesn't think he's good enough. Um, he wants to be able to take care of his sister, and he is not into the starving artist idea. Um, but his sister is going to continue to push and poke and prod um, because she wants him to go out there and experience life and to use this amazing talent that he has. Anyways, I'm going to stop right there. I hope you guys enjoy this little snippet into the LaRue family. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're still here and you're not a member of our family, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Become a member of our family and yeah, the notification bell while you're at it so you know when I upload. I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend or whenever you're viewing this, an amazing day. Until then, guys, ciao.